coming through crystal clear something new blaggers got some shit to do yo guys Phil here and today I want to welcome you to another tutorial um today we're going to learn a pretty sick effect in my opinion especially for the winter time and Christmas time so um if you want to do a Christmas themed edit or winter themed edit this tutorial is actually pretty perfect for you because today we're going to learn how to create um, snow motion tracked snowflakes um, with an effect called CC Particular World and um, yeah, as you can see those um, flakes are actually just around and um, I'm about to try to get a better better way to a better way <coughs> to create those with Trapco particular but for now it's actually perfect working with those because um, those already look pretty sick so I'm just show you how to create what we're going to create today so as you can see everyone every single flake snowflake is motion tracked in the scene and um, yeah, before we start with how it works, I just want to mention um, that if this tutorial gets more than um, 100, no, 80 likes, um, I'm going to directly upload a new tutorial I've um, already recorded about um, Element. I'm sure most of you already heard of it. Um, and um, I'm going to show you how to create logos with Element and basically give you all the links you need with, um, first of all, the Element plugin itself, crack everything, um, pro shaders and um, some more stuff I'm going to show you. So just a basic um, packs everyone can buy um, just for free. So um, I hope you're interested in that, and um, yeah, I want to keep this kind of a activity test, this tutorial. So yeah, please be sure to like this video and support myself. And um, yeah, I hope you like the idea of the Element um, tutorial. And yeah, let's start with the tutorial. The first thing we got to do is create a new composition. I'm gonna call it Snow, and um, add into this composition a clip. I basically got this clip, a little cinematic. Um, as you can see on hardhead and um, first thing I'm gonna do is change the scale of it so I get rid of those um, black edges 102 or 101 that's fine and um, now we're going to pre-compose it right click on the layer um, and go to pre-compose um, yeah okay now we can pre-compose it and um, can directly start tracking it so um, right click on the layer and follow track camera and um, while your PC is tracking the different tracking points um, you can already create a new layer I'm gonna call it snow particles oh that no, doesn't so snow particles and um, now we go to effect go to simulation and go to CC Particle World. You can all read, uh, also just type in Particle World. <coughs> Sorry, and just drag it on your layer. And now you can see we got this grid over here, and that's basically the floor of our um, particles. But now we basically just have to wait this one minute till the scene is tracked. So um, yeah, I just want to remind you again if you want to see. Um, the element tutorial be sure to like and I'm gonna be right back when it's tracked okay everything is tracked now um, now we just go to create a camera and now um, all of those little crosses should show up in front of you and um, if they don't you've probably not created the camera I this one here um, or you have to <coughs> retrack the scene maybe it failed um, yeah so um, let's go to the particle layer and um, go to grid first and oh no sorry not to grid let's start with the producer and replace our grid as you can see it here uh, we just go and replace it in the 3d space maybe back over here and if we go forward you can see those sprites and um, basically what we need to do is 
get those kind of in the middle of our scene. So if you check it by going through the timeline, you should be able to drag it to the middle. And um, now we change the Y, uh, the Y axis, and bring it to the top. And now if you continue with the particle options, uh, physics, sorry, the physics, you <coughs> change the velocity to about 4. As you can see, those sprites get way more out of each other. Uh, gets expanded. And um, now we go to particles. Oh, first of all, change gravity to zero, 0, 1. And now we go to particles, and as you can see, we got the particle type. At the moment, we got those lines. But we want to change it to faded sphere uh, spheres. So as you can see now, you can see nothing. Um, but if I change the burst size, you can start seeing those particles. So uh, what we do first is change the color from um, so change the burst color to white and the dust color to gray or whatever you want, just mess around with those settings and um, okay now you change the where is it go back to producer change the radius so you spread those particles a bit and um, yeah be sure to spread it in the z-axis pretty much because it looks cool if those particles <coughs> fall right in front of your camera and um, change the burst rate so you get more of those particles and yeah that's basically looking quite good already maybe a few maybe too many of them but yeah you can change um, the long longevity per second so how old those particles can get if you choose two it will be two seconds so um, they live for two seconds and you basically just have to go through your comp and um, see if that works for you if they blur out too fast or too early be sure to stretch it out and yeah just mess around with those settings and, and that's basically everything. Now you can just change um, now you can expand, now you can continue changing the radius over here and make it perfect but um, yeah and that's basically the way you can create snow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to leave a like, a comment and or a subscribe if you haven't already and I hope we can get enough likes. See you next time. Peace!